Hello! Today I am going to show you how you can make any boots proudly display your favorite team logo. I chose the Seahawks, Go Hawks, because I love them. But you can do any of your team logos on your boots. Just find the right color. Hopefully they come in the, one of your team's colors. But uh, it's very pretty easy to do this if you have patience to paint within the lines. So I'm going to show you what you need to do this, and uh, here we go. So what you'll need is, first you'll need to get your favorite team logo on paper. You can easily just get it off the internet, then you can put it into Word or some platform like that, blow it up, print it out, so you have your, this is what you're going to trace on there. You'll need some tooling. This kind of the netty material, you can make tutus out of whatever, you'll need a piece of this, a sharpie, a sharpie pen to trace your logo on your tooling. I like to use blue tape because it peels off rather easily and you use that to hold the tooling down. You'll need a piece of chalk also for the next step in the process. You also need your acrylic paints. may not need all of them, but you have them on hand in case you do. And a, two, and a uh, paintbrush, of course. So the first thing you want to do is take some of your tooling and cut a piece off that is big enough to cover your artwork or your logo, whatever you want to call it. Making it yours. It's good. So I'm going to take some blue tape and tape it down so it can't move around while I'm tracing it. I'm going to cut the tooling down so I have room to tape it to the... There we go. Then take your Sharpie and trace it. You don't want to stretch it, just let it lie. It's not an exact science. You want to try and get it just on the lines, of course. Don't want to miss any. Make your job easier on the next step that we do after this. I'm going to trace it onto the boot. Alright, I think I got all the lines. Next step. Peel it off of here. Now on your uh, tooling. Now, you take your boot and Let's here, let's start with the right boot instead. And lay your tooling onto your boot. Kind of eyeball where you think you want the logo to go. I know this is a big one, so it can't go. Some of it will be off, off of the boot. And that's okay if there's a wrinkle up here. You can paint through it. So once you figure out where you want it, take your blue tape, tape your boot down, or tape the tooling down to your boot. What I do recommend is to stuff something into the boot before you try. Just Okay, so it's on there. Okay. Now we take our chalk. And we're just going to trace all the lines that you just drew with the Sharpie.
chalk is only marker so we know where to paint. Okay, looks like I got it all. There you go. Now you have, it's not perfect, but you, you have your logo. You just, all you have to do now is paint it. And try not to, try not to rub it while you're painting it because that'll rub the chalk off and then you won't have your line anymore. There you go. So when you do the other boot, Since it's the left foot, in the case of our design, we don't have any writing on there, no letters or numbers, so we can just reverse it, do it on this side, the opposite, so it's still going forward. I could do it this way, but then it would be backwards, and I, I didn't like it that way, so do this one. Okay, I think I've got it. <clears throat> Hopefully. There we go. Now we just gotta paint it. get it on the rubber you can just scrape it off because it doesn't stick to the rubber very well. I've experimented with a few ways to paint the soles and mixing the paint with Mod Podge works really well but it still cracks because it's not super flexible. Mod Podge. To mix that with the paint you are successful to paint rubber but um, it still is not very flexible so it will crack but it works good. Gives it a nice finish. I'm going to go through and add another thicker layer, even up the lines a little bit, and then I will paint the eye green with this lime green to make the eye. I don't need to use the blue, I have it, but I don't need to use it because the boot is already blue unless I screw up the white. If I screw it up in here somewhere, then I need to paint the whole, all the blue parts blue. Then you luck it all, I won't screw it up. And then silver, metallic silver. I might, this one's kind of old. I'm going to paint this right here, silver. So you probably don't need to watch me paint the whole rest of the boot. And do the same thing on this one. When you're done painting them, 
You still have your chalk lines. Just scratch it off with your fingernail.